the objectives for this week three lesson. So first, we have identified the online safety measures. Second, define online ethics and etiquette. Third, apply online safety, security, ethics, and etiquette standards and practice in the use of ICTs. What is online safety? It refers to the practices and precautions that should be observed when using the internet to ensure that the users as well as their computers and personal information are safe from crimes associated with using the internet. So it refers to the act of staying safe online. So these are the things you need to do in order for you to be safe when you are using online or the internet. So online safety, it starts with you. What are the common online risks? We have the cyberbullying. So it happens when someone intentionally abused, harassed, and mistreated by other person using electronic communication. So when you are um, abusing someone or harassing someone through um, chats or through social media so it could be lead to cyber bullying so identity theft it is a crime of stealing personal information for the purpose of assuming that person's name or identity to make any form of transactions so umbaga, um, it is um, a person pretending to be you using your personal details and um, transacting with other people asking for money or um, scamming something like that cyber stalking a criminal practice where electronic communication is used to talk or harass individual or group Sexting, the act of sending sexually explicit text messages, images, and videos. So there are common internet threats that we might encounter. We have the malware, also known as malicious software. So this is a software that can harm our computers and get information through our computers or through this software and there are types of malware we have the virus a malicious program that replicate itself by copying itself to another program trojan horse a malicious software or program that disguised as a legitimate program that user will accept and use but take control of your computer kumbagay at first you think it's a legit or a genuine software or application then once we install it and in our computer so that's the start that they will um, have the control of your computer and it also can harm your laptops and computers and worm malicious program that copies itself and spreads to other computers so baga it's um can be transferred through flash drives and cities once we use that to other computers then common internet threats and spyware, a malicious program that gathers information from victims' computer and send it back to the hacker. So from the word spy, so it's spying, it's getting information from our computer and sending it back to the hacker. We, we have adware, unwanted advertisement that will pop up several times 
on a victim's computer then behave abnormally and tedious to close them. So example nito, if we are um, accidentally click, alright, when we are browsing the internet, the um, advertisements or notifications, so it keeps on popping up sa ating um, monitor, so it's very annoying and nakaka-distract when we are doing something, when we are typing, alright, in our computer, it keeps on um, displaying sa ating monitor. So, in order for us to remove it, so we need to um, block and unsubscribe to that advertisement. We have the Keylogger, a program that runs in the background and steals user credentials and confidential information and sent back to the hack by recording every keystroke that a user makes on their computer or device. Common internet threats, we still have botnet, a collection of infected internet connected devices such as PC and mobile phone that are controlled by a common type of malware. And we have the rootkit, a software tool used by hackers to gain control over a computer on a network without being exposed. And ransomware, a ransom virus that block the user from accessing the programs or files and demands to pay the ransom through online method for the removal of the virus. Um, I think familiar kayo dito minsan na bigla na lang may magpapop up na antivirus when we visited some websites and it's saying na uh, there is a um, detected virus so we need to click on that link to install the antivirus but it will ask um, a payment okay in the end after we install the antivirus. So, pag hindi daw natin install yun or nabayaran, hindi nila matatanggal yung virus man kung ano man yung um, na-detect nila na virus sa ating computer. Spam, known as junk email or unwanted email sent by advertisers or bot, it can be used to send malware. So, these are the um, emails that we receive okay unwanted emails ka di ba sa uh, emails natin or sa email natin may makikita na tayo dun na spam so meaning to say um it's it's for us to um check on it right if we want to reply or to accept it okay yung mga um advertisement okay from companies so, madami tayo na-receive sa email natin. Phishing. So, a cyber attack method using deceptive emails and websites to acquiring sensitive personal information. So, um, this are or this is um, a strategy, alright, in order for them to get our personal details or can um, get into our computer, they will send us um, an email that we need to uh, click a link okay like for example um, you use credit cards so they will send you um, a, a link that you need to update your information pero hindi pala yung legit na galing talaga mismo sa banko okay galing pala dyan, galing na pala siya sa mga hackers na kaya um, kailangan or kumukuha ng ating mga personal information, especially bank information, para makukuha sila sa ating um, savings. Okay? Then, cybercrime. So, a crime in which computer is used as object and tool in committing crimes such as hacking, phishing, spamming, and child pornography, libel, hate crimes, identity thief, and others. So, yeah. so when we use um, computers, okay, in doing such uh, like hacking, phishing, or um, defamation, libel, so we call this cybercrime. 
and we have the cyber crime law so a law that deals with all forms of cyber crime so we have two um cyber crime law that was imposed in the philippines so we have the republic act 10175 or 10175 or cyber crime prevention act of 2012 and the republic act 10627 or anti-bullying act of 2013 so yun yung mga um, government provisions for online courtesy and etiquette ang uh, nagbabanti sa atin Then the internet scam, so it's a type of scam that misleads the user in many ways attempting to lead of them. The purpose of this scam is to cheat the target of their personal property directly rather than private information through fabricated promises, confidence tricks, and many more. Alright, so how to be safe online? So these are some tips in order for you or for us to be safe online. Do not share your password with anyone. And so never ever share your personal password. Okay, even if you're even to your um, best friends or friends. Alright, pwede pa sa parents or to your siblings kung gusto nyo i-share. But with other people, never ever um, share it to your um, friends. Okay? Add friends you know in real life. So, wag tayo basta-basta mag-add kung hindi natin kakilala. We just add those people related to our family or to your family or to your friends. Kung baga, kilalang kilala nyo na. Do not visit untrusted websites. Ayan, so be careful. So, if you if you think that um, this website is untrusted, then huwag na tayo pang pumunta doon. Okay? Huwag na natin i-click. Add password to your Wi-Fi at home to make it private. Install and update antivirus in your computer. So it's very important to um, install all right, an antivirus in our computer. Okay, It should be the genuine or legit um, antivirus. Okay, para so, talagang pulidong nadidetect at natatanggal niya yung mga viruses sa ating computer. Do not give your personal information to anyone. So if someone is asking, it's very strange na magtatanong sa inyo ng personal information nyo, do not give it. Okay? Wag natin ibibigay. Wag tayo basta-basta nagbibigay. Always ask why and uh, kung saan ito gagamitin. Then think before you click. So it's very important. Alright? Um na bago tayo mag-click, bago mag-post, bago mag-run, um, bago gawin yung mga bagay-bagay online, we have to think twice or many times. <laughs> Never post about your future vacation. When you post or text, think. T, is it true? Alright. Think if, um, you are posting um, a true information or a legit information or content then is it helpful or is it helpful to your audience to your friends or to other people okay makakatulong ba ito kapag pinost ko or hindi kung hindi naman so don't post it all right is it inspiring so especially nowadays that um, people need some inspiration so we need to be the hope and we need to be the inspiration of other people so do not um, post any negative vibes so just post some you know um positive uh, uh positivity kumbaga good vibes lang para at least 
if someone is feeling lonely or feeling down they they check on your profile and they read your um, positive post so nakaka-attract kayo ng positivity sa ibang tao right um, is it necessary so is it necessary to post this is it necessary to text this or to chat okay kailangan ba talagang i-post yung mga rants na pwede nang pag-usapan privately okay so yun we have to ask ourselves kung kailangan ba talaga then is it kind is it kind na um you don't um harass other people or in the, um kung baga hindi nakakasama sa ibang tao okay so stop bullying show respect all right netiquette so from the word net and etiquette so um, it's an etiquette applied online that shows proper manner and behavior so if you are a member of an online society through social media you are called netizen and in interacting with other netizen online we need to maintain good behavior which is acceptable to others in online community so when we say netiquette this is an, an applicable um manners right or behavior okay that we need to apply when dealing with the online community okay so madami tayong kailangan na yun na nga um sundin na mga bagay-bagay okay na para hindi makasama sa atin at sa ibang tao Okay, the core rules of netiquette by Seth T. Ross. Remember the human. Adhere to the same standards of behavior online that you follow in real life. Know where you are in cyberspace. Respect other people's time and bandwidth. Make yourself look good online. Share expert knowledge. Help keep flame wars under control. Respect other people's privacy and don't abuse your power. Be forgiven. Be forgiving of other people's mistakes. So, yeah. so always remember this core rules of netiquette. And that's it. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for um, video lessons. Thank you very much. I'll see you next video lesson. Bye-bye.